Welcome to AG Chelsea TV, in this video content we take a look at the latest Chelsea news and our views on it. All news is collected by us from reliable and quality sources. Nottingham Forest supporters are reacting to their club being linked with a £10 million move for Chelsea winger Callum Hudson-Odoi. Chelsea are set for a clear out of players this summer and Hudson-Odoi could be among the players to leave, with a Steve Cooper reunion on the cards. The duo worked together when England under-17s won the World Cup under Cooper's leadership. It is set to be another busy summer of transfers for Forrest, with a number of players already linked to the club. There is plenty of debate about whether Hudson Odoi should be a player who walks through the door at the city ground over the coming weeks. Mauricio Pochettino's appointment as Chelsea's new boss has sparked rumours of a massive clearout at the club, with up to 12 players potentially leaving this summer. The club is now under pressure to sell players to comply with financial fair play rules, with the Evening Standard reporting that they want to make some sales before June 30th. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is the most likely player to leave Stamford Bridge after scoring just three goals in 21 appearances, while Edouard Mendy, Christian Pulisic, Hakim Ziyech, Mateo Kovacic, Mason Mount, and Cesar Azpilicueta are also expected to depart. Kai Havertz has also been named as a sellable asset, despite finishing the recent campaign as Chelsea's joint top scorer with nine goals. Chelsea's sponsorship deal with British telecommunication company 3 is set to expire this year and consequently, the Londoners are now believed to be in talks with a different company, that's according to a recent report from Football Insider, who claims Todd Burley's Blues are negotiating with German finance giants Allianz over a potential multi-year sponsorship deal. That would see the brand replace 3 as the Premier League team's main front-of-shirt sponsor. 3's inclusion on the Chelsea kit was always a controversial one. Fans didn't really take to how the kit looked with rival fans often referencing the company's name whenever the team conceded three goals. In a game. Mauricio Pochettino is already facing an early headache as Chelsea boss with Kalidou Koulibaly unwilling to leave the club. Much was expected of the experienced former Napoli centre-half when he joined last summer having been earmarked as a replacement for Antonio Rudiger. Koulibaly endured a difficult start to life in the Premier League, and struggled to recover after he was sent off against Leeds United in what was only his third appearance. With Thiago Silva now looking increasingly likely to stay and Wesley Fofana plus Ben or Arbejishile representing long-term investments, Koulibaly's first-team opportunities are likely to be rare next season. Graham Potter may be a former Brighton manager. However, he has been linked to the Seagulls' biggest rivals. According to Foot Mercato, Crystal Palace wants to appoint Graham Potter. The South Coast side has moved on with Roberto De Zerbi who qualified them for European soccer for the first time. Although, it would still not be a popular move with Brighton fans if Potter is in the dugout at Selhurst Park next season. Potter has also been linked with taking over at Nice in France. After an unsuccessful short stint with Chelsea, a move abroad might be wise to get away from the British press. Reports have claimed that Chelsea have worked hard on scouting nice midfielder Kefren Thuram. According to 90 Minutes, the Blues have made plenty of efforts to watch the 22-year-old this season in League One. It has certainly been a breakout season for Thuram, who has placed himself near the top of the list for a number of elite sides who are looking to bring in a midfielder this summer. Premier League rivals Liverpool are reportedly very interested in a deal, as they potentially deal with missing out on long-term transfer target and current blue Mason Mount. Chelsea are certainly in the market for a central midfielder this summer, as they look to rebuild to the required level for Mauricio Pochettino to mount a challenge next season. Manuel Ugarte of Sporting CP is currently the target Chelsea are putting in the efforts to sign. Although the Blues have suffered a setback with Paris Saint-Germain currently offering the 22-year-old a far more lucrative salary. Todd Burley was present in the meeting yesterday, he met with Manuel Ugarte, Jorge Mendes, and Jorge Kai Jane. He was presented with €2 million Euro annual salary, through a long-term deal, in order to soften the investment, spreading it over several years and reducing the impact of spending on UEFA fair play. Ugarte saw Chelsea as almost a done deal but is now reticent over his future after seeing the disparity in wages. Everything will be solved in the coming days with a new round of negotiations set to take place between clubs and player. PSG also offered Sporting to pay in two installments of 30 million, whilst Chelsea offered it over five installments. Andy Cousins is to move to Chelsea as he completes his Stoke City exit. 
Cousins has been a key figure behind the scenes at Stoke since late 2019 and his arrival at the same time as Michael O'Neill, ensuring the club stayed on the right side of financial fair play regulations with a mass turnover of personnel. He had previously worked at Manchester City and helped O'Neill for Northern Ireland. He was given the title head of football operations in January last year, with responsibilities stretching from performance analysis to recruitment, and he stayed to work with Alex Neal through the season just finished. But the club confirmed in March that he would leave at the end of the campaign, and now he is set to move to the Premier League in Chelsea's scouting and recruitment department. Mason Mount has just one year left on his Chelsea contract and it has been widely speculated that he will leave Stamford Bridge this summer. The Daily Telegraph has reported that Eric Ten Hag is confident he can persuade Mason Mount to join Manchester United as part of a summer overhaul being demanded by the manager. Ten Hag has done a very good job at Old Trafford this year. He has guided them into the Champions League, won the EFL Cup and could claim another trophy as his side faces Manchester City in the FA Cup final this weekend. The Dutchman needs to be backed if he is to take the Red Devils even further. Signing Mount from a rival club will be a big statement from United. Champions League finalists Inter Milan are interested in signing Chelsea's Trevo Chalabar, according to reports. The Daily Mail claims that Trevo Chalabar is one of numerous Chelsea players who could exit Stamford Bridge in the upcoming summer transfer window. It is explained that the Blues will ask for £25 million to sell their young centre-back. The report names Italian giants Inter as potential buyers for him, too. If people have doubts over Chalabar's ability, they may change their minds when they see one of this season's Champions League finalists as a possible next destination for him. Chalabar, who came through the Blues Academy, has been a decent performer this season with 33 first-team appearances. Mauricio Pochettino could find his disappointment regarding a likely summer departure for Mason Mount lessened with Chelsea finding their new boss a dream replacement. The 24-year-old has been loosely discussing new contract terms throughout the 2022-23 season, but little to any significant progress has been made which looks set to result in Mount leaving his boyhood club. The Blues may have just found the perfect replacement for Mount. Celta Vigo star Gabri Vega is attracting very strong interest from a number of top European clubs with Chelsea the latest to join the race, according to AS in Spain. Arsenal have been keeping tabs on the attacking midfielder for much of 2023, while Manchester United, Manchester City, Barcelona, Real Madrid and Bayern Munich are also monitoring his situation. One of those seven clubs looks likely to agree a transfer for Vega, with his €40 million, Euros, £34.6 million, pounds, release clause making a move much easier, and the report also clearly states the 21-year-old will not remain at Celta for the 2023-24 season. As the only team interested with no European football, Chelsea face an uphill task to try and convince Vega to sign, but after 35 La Liga appearances where he has scored nine goals and grabbed four assists, he will likely demand first-team assurances which he may not be able to obtain at many of the other clubs. And that is also the last content in today's video, if you enjoy the video please leave us one like and one subscribe and don't forget to click the bell to not miss the latest content from us.